My addict sister ruined my credit but when I tracked her down I received the shock of my life. I did everything right in my life and I cannot believe that someone in my own family has totally betrayed me and put my future in jeopardy. I married my husband two years ago and just this year we have started house shopping and it's been such a thrill. I am so excited to start my life with him, we both want kids and we were so pumped to finally have our house and have lots of space to be able to have multiple children. Both my husband and I grew up in broken, abusive households where our parents had substance abuse issues, and ever since we started dating we have spoken about creating a peaceful healthy environment for our future kids. We both are very established in our careers and we have never been more excited and motivated in our marriage to start our family. My husband is going to be the best dad anyone could ask for and I feel like a little kid at a candy shop as we house shop together. Anyway, we have been looking at different houses in our area for about a month now, and we have a pretty big budget. This week we finally nailed down one as our ultimate favorite, and my husband and I decided to put in an offer. When we both sent the offer email to a realtor, we were squealing and giggling like little kids and made love right afterward. I had no idea things were about to take such an awful upsetting turn, and when I got my realtor's response the next morning I was totally shocked at what she said. It turned out that even though the owner had accepted our offer, the realtor had done credit checks on both of us and it turned out that I had a 303 credit score. I had absolutely no idea how this could happen. Maybe four months ago when we first started house hunting my credit was at a clean 780 and I had never been so confused in my life. I told my realtor that there must be some sort of mistake and that I would figure it out and get back to her. It was honestly humiliating since I seemed super poor or irresponsible while we were shopping for a $500,000 house. I went straight to the bank and requested all my credit history, and what I found completely floored me. It turned out that within the past few months, my estranged twin sister had opened multiple lines of high-interest credit in my name and maxed every single card out. My twin sister started doing H. Roy and MTH a couple of years back and after she crashed my dad's car and stole my mom's jewelry no one has spoken to her since. We had never been super close growing up but I never thought that she would do something like this to me. Although I grew up with her and I understood how addiction changes somebody you've known forever, I did understand that she was probably not in the right mind when she opened all these lines of credit. But no matter how understanding I was I was still totally financially screwed. All these lines of credit were in my name and the bank told me that if I didn't press charges on her then I would be responsible for all the cards. I decided to go to the police to press charges and they ended up tracking down my sister. Long story short, she owed it at some truck stop only about two weeks ago. I was the only one who went to identify her body in the morgue since my parents said they couldn't handle it. This has been one of the most messed up and stressful months of my life. I was so excited to move on to my next chapter but now I'm completely traumatized by the sight of my sister's cold dead face lying there in the morgue. 